This is a question from the Edexcel Core 4 2005 June paper, question number seven, that a student has asked about. So we're going to work through this one. First question, as we can see, we've got the vector equation of two lines, and we're asked to find the point of intersection for those two lines. Quite simple, really. What we've got to do is we are going to take um, these two equations and solve them simultaneously. So if we look at the i components, we have 3 plus lambda for this first part must be equal to mu on the second line. We will also have 1 minus lambda on the top and 4 minus mu for the j's for that one. And looking at the k's, we're going to have 2 plus 4 lambda is equal to minus 2. Now this bottom one only has one variable in it. So that is going to tell us that 4 lambda is equal to minus 4, which gives us lambda is minus 1. Now that's all the information that we need to be able to solve it, but what we can do is we can check that everything is working well, as um, uh, check that everything is working by feeding it into these other two if we want to. So taking lambda is minus 1, we can have uh, 1 minus minus 1 is equal to 4 minus mu which gives us uh, 2 is equal to 4 minus mu, which gives mu is equal to 2. So we've now got a value for lambda, a value for mu, and we can put these both into here and see if they work. So that would give us 3 minus 1 equals 2, which works, so we know that these are the right parts. Now that's all checking, we don't actually need to do all of that. What we can do is we can take one of these two values and simply feed it back into our equation. So I'm going to take lambda is minus 1 to work out the coordinates. So um, for b, the x coordinate, lambda is minus 1, so 3 plus minus 1 times 1 is um, 3 minus 1 is 2. 1 plus minus 1 times minus 1, so 1 plus 1 is 2, and 2 minus 1 times 4, so 2 minus 4 is minus 2, and there is our position B. Second part asks us to find the value of cos theta, the angle between these two lines. So what we're going to do there is we're going to use our um, little formula. Um, a dot B is equal to modulus A modulus B cos theta, so taking the dot product. What we're going to do here for A and B, these are going to be our direction vectors. So what we're going to do, we're going to dot them, which is to multiply the i's, j's and k's together. So 1 times 1 is 1, minus 1 times minus 1 is 1, 4 times 0 is 0 modulus of this first one, so we're going to do the square root of 1 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 4 squared times the uh, modulus of b, so this is going to be 1 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 0 squared times cos theta. So 2 is equal to, well, this is 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 16 is root 18. Here we're going to get 1 plus 1, so this is root 2, cos theta. Root 18 times root 2 is root 36, so 2 is equal to 6 cos theta, which gives us cos theta is 2 over 6, or 1 third. So there's our value for cos theta. Going on to part C, we're given two points and we're asked to prove distances between them. So here we're going from A to B. Now to go from A to B, we're going from 3i to 2, so we're going minus i. We're going from j to 2j. So we're going plus j, and we're going from 2k to minus 2k, we're going minus 4k. 
modulus of a to b is then the square root of minus 1 squared plus 1 squared plus minus 4 squared which is equal to the square root of 1 plus 1 plus 16 root 18. For BC this is going from B to C so we're going from 2 to 5 so this is 3i 2 to minus 1 minus 3j and from minus 2 to minus 2 no k. So this gives us that the modulus of BC is the square root of 3 squared plus the square root of minus 3 squared, which is root 18. These two are the same. We've shown that that's true. Now for part D, find the position vector of the point D. Now we're told that A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, and we know A, B is equal to B, C. So if we draw a parallelogram, which is going to look something like this, A, B, C, D, and we know that A, B, and B, C are the same length. Well, that doesn't really matter too much for this question, though. What we know is that this vector must be the same as this vector. So what that means is the vector B, C, which we've got there, must be the same as the vector from A to D. So in order to find the position vector for D, OD is equal to OA plus AD. That is to say, to get to D, we go to A and then we travel along this vector AD. But of course, AD is the same as BC. And we know what BC is because we've got it here. So. OD equals OA, which is 3i plus j plus 2k plus 3i minus 3j. So this becomes 6i minus 2j plus 2k. And there is our position vector.